as you maybe can tell, we are at Lisebay and it's Christmas time. So Christmas season is finally open. It opened this Friday and now it is Sunday. And here's the skating rink. During Christmas Helix is closed, but and Balder is still closed by the way, if you were thinking about riding our woody. It is not going to open it looks like. We'll see about that next year. But Helix is closed because it's very cold. Lisebay Runner is open as you can see up there, climbing the lift hill. And also if you want to know a little bit more about Lisebay Runner, you can click the link up on the screen right now where I talk about the history and sadly the accidents that have happened way back at Lisebay Runner. Very safe ride though, but don't get worried. Another roller coaster that is open here is actually Valkyria, so that one runs in the cold. So I'm thinking about taking a ride in that in just a little bit. So something very Swedish is Fika, and uh, we have Värmestugan, which says Fika with Utsikt. So basically, cinnamon bun, coffee, and with a great view. Try that. Look at all the decorations here, it is so pretty. As usual, Lisebay has done a really good job. First time Christmas at Lisebay since 2019, which feels awesome, of course. Okay, so, did you just make a video about Lisebay Bonan? I think that we need to go for a ride, don't you think? Of course, we are. And as you can see here on the screen now, there is no line whatsoever. Uh, this is a recording from my phone and the virtual queue app. And you see there is a walk on on everything, no matter if you're six people, as you can see here in Valkyria. Zombies anymore at, down in myths and legends area. It's not District C now, but it's very pretty. I just took a ride in Lisebay uh, which of course was great. It's not often that I cry on a roller coaster, but today I did. It is only three degrees out, but it was fun. And now I'm going to take a ride in Valkyria. These have uh, been here. Every Christmas season, I think, but this is a place to heat up. Don't do it with gloves or just dip so you don't catch on fire. Do not recommend that. As usual, it's very pretty in the park. I'm just going to leave my bag and then take a ride in Valkyria. And just took some photos of Lisbay. I can see that there is some red and white stripes a little bit here and there in the park. So, sorry, not in the park on the roller coaster, so something is up with Balder that we know since it has been closed since end of August. Uh, before that it was closed for a month, I think also, so... And we do not know when this is going to open again. I can see even more red and white stripes here. It does not feel very good. Here comes Loki. So I'm gonna save something for the next vlog because we're gonna make a vlog all four of us. That means Yona, Jessica and Sarah and me of course. Uh, since I'm here to alone today. We are saving Tomte Huset or Santa's house to the next visit. This did look good. Which also was called 
Tomteuset is located inside Colorado's station building, which is over there. And apparently it is bigger this year, so let's see about that. It's gonna be interesting to visit that in the next vlog. Even Gusten got a Christmas layover. No, I didn't, I'm joking, it is closed actually. But over here in the harbor area, it's also very, very pretty. Isabel does a good job as usual with all, all their seasons. You do have to bear with me. It's not going to be any night video or footage today, which I think this camera does really good, but in the next visit I assure you it's going to be dark and it's going to look very standing here above Big Atem. Going to walk to the new area of the park which is super super duper interesting. Uh, so we're going to get two new rides and we also think Luna is going to this place because of some cool things that we have found in the park. So yeah I'm gonna show you in a little bit because Viro Vinden is completely gone. Uh, not like I showed you last time that the ride is gone. The building is gone and it looks like things are happening. So I'm gonna show you that in just a little bit. So for those of you who have watched the channel before or the earlier videos knows that there's supposed to be a building here. This is where Virvinden was located. Let's go up and have a look at that. Because the area is now closed off. But since I have so long arms, now I'm tired. But you can see that there is something, sorry for the shaking stuff, something going on. This is where Virvelvin then was located. Things are happening, so expect something to happen here very soon. We're going to follow that, I promise. It's a quite large area that they have sealed up off here up on the mountain and so as you see so you know where I am this is the pretty garden and this is where the carousel is I'm very close I'm sorry for that but yeah you can see this and I can see an opening over there let's have a peek so you get an idea this is where it's happening right now two new rides coming in for next season and we think both of them are going to be there so here you get a better idea I cannot sneak in I promise but over there was the building of Virva Vinden, it's now gone and new rides are coming in here in this area It's going to be a short vlog today and as I said it's not going to be dark because I was here kind of early I'm just going to be here for one or two hours in total but as usual and as I already said a million times, the ride is the ride. The park is super pretty, and I'm up here on the mountain looking at where we think that. No, we don't think. There's sort of official documents. It's going to be two new rides over here, so that is very exciting. Here's also some interesting things. You have some markers here in the ground, and over here. I'm going to show you some more. This one here is also very interesting. It doesn't have to mean anything, but when there's sticks and markers and spray paint in a park, it means something. And yeah, okay, you can even read a little bit on this one, I think. I hope you can on the computer. Here you have another one. So, definitely something going on here in the park. Lucibai is starting to winter preserve oopsing it and probably uh, put up the tent around it the coming days, I guess. I haven't been in the bunny land today, but I have to wait until the next next vlog from here. And I can tell you that Valkyria is only running one train, but Lisa Bonham is actually doing two trains. 
I don't think it was two trains when I rode it before, I only think it was one. But two trains now since I think it's a little bit more people in, in the park. And this, by the way, is, I think, Europe's biggest Christmas tree. Normally known as Atmosphere. And formerly known as Lisebergstornet.